But it's again, but nicer and easier isn't better for our mental health. We're designed to struggle. We're designed to be like hunting, gathering to get a girl. That's what you're designed to go break, like go bravery and hunt, gather, get a lion, bring it back or whatever animal. And then a woman will sleep with you. Now, if we're now creating a society of men where all they have to do is download an app to get that woman, you're removing masculinity and bravery and the ability to uh, regulate another person's emotions and understand her kind of uh, behaviors, you're removing that from men. So you're removing their ability to be their full potential and their ability to be masculine because that's not how we're designed. It definitely creates a a kind of self-fulfilling cycle where guys who have had bad experiences with, with women in one form or another rejection or they've got into relationships and they've ended up being on the receiving end of something that's been really bad will retreat and it seems like they're now going to be able to be serviced you know this is uh, it would surprise me if only fans still exists as a, yeah. a business within the space of five years because yeah, really AI you know will. yeah well, what how this would maybe very much be able to take up mm-hmm. take over if it can become high enough quality so i understand the dynamic you know it, this is a safer version mm-hmm. for you in terms of not being betrayed emotionally yeah. et cetera, et cetera. but it does create precisely the lack of eligibility that you already fear in yourself, Mm. right? I I want to be an eligible partner for a woman because Mm. I haven't got that. I may turn to this as an alternative. It it would be very, very surprising to me if a man said, I outright from first principles want the AI girlfriend. (laughs) It's usually I would have maybe tried to get the one in the real world, haven't got it, therefore I retreat into this. So that retreat creates the lack of eligibility. Mm -hmm. But on the other side of this, and the reason that you know, women, as quite rightly, this lady, and it's a really well written article. Um, this lady that wrote the article makes a great point that this is going to create the dearth of eligible partners that women are already fearful of, yeah. right? So, what do you think? Let's say that you do have it's going to happen, it's happening right now. Yeah, happen. There is going to be some men, right? A non insignificant minority at the very least who do retreat into this upgraded version of porn. Yeah. What do you think the female response will be to this? Because that's going to further skew yeah. the market of eligible male partners. What men are hoping for is that then they'll step up and they'll say, oh, I'm going to be that girl that laughs and does that. But the reality is what men, women mainly will do is step down and think, forget men. Because I can't be bothered to do this. Because, you know, the addiction to pornography has made a lot of women think, oh, God, I don't even want to sleep with men anymore. They, they just want porn. They, they do this wild stuff and blah, blah. So it, it's going to have a counterproductive impact on women. You're thinking that they're going to step up. But the reality is when we feel like the mountain is too high, we don't bother climbing it. So what women will actually do is retreat into there's no point being with a man I might as well just stay single all my friends are staying single I might as well be uh, bisexual might be lesbian whatever it is they're not going to step up if that's what you're thinking this is what they're going to do they're going to think step up for who guys that like artificial intelligence that's not motivating me to want to step up that's making me think men are disgusting and so they're less likely to become the woman you want them to be so we're creating a society of incel men but jaded women yeah this sort of adversarial nature between the sexes is not good yeah people are retreating into Mm. a more comfortable but less fulfilling less risky Mm -hmm. uh less content version of life but it's this move away from anything that has to do with risk is kind of the trend that i'm seeing you know maybe this is downstream from hyper convenience maybe this is downstream from a quasi surveillance state Mm -hmm. where all of your information is tracked and held on the internet maybe this is to do with snow plow uh parenting and helicopter parenting maybe this you know pick whatever it is that's caused this to occur and it's likely to be a ton of different Mm -hmm. things congealing together But, but i don't think that it makes for ultimately a satisfying gratifying life Mm -hmm. even if you have a life which is devoid of failure and pain and challenge that doesn't mean that it's one that's full of pleasure and happiness and contentment yeah exactly and comfort is actually the killer of joy what they find with people who have depression it's not that they are um got the worst circumstances sometimes they're just too comfortable if you take children in africa that have to go walk to get water they have no time to be depressed because their life is so uncomfortable that they have a purpose and they get through it and then they get the the dopamine of getting what they need um too much comfort kills joy because if i can wake up late every single 
day, I forget the joy of a lion. If I can eat whatever I want, all the junk food in the world, I forget what cheap meal for tastes like. So comfort is not actually going to create any long-term happiness. Happiness comes from discomfort, then problem solving that discomfort and then getting the dopamine reward. So it's a bit of a longer process. Sadia Khan, ladies and gentlemen, where should people go? They want to keep up to date with what you're doing. At Sadia Psychology. And just go on TikTok. I'm everywhere there. Unfortunately, I really apologize, but I seem to be everywhere on TikTok at Sadia Psychology. What else are you doing? What can people expect from you next? I um, I still have my Patreon where I release exclusive videos that are just for those people that are looking to learn and improve. I also offer one-to-one conversations and one-to-one coaching. I also reply to people on my patrons that have quick questions. So I am very accessible and available at the moment. So I do apologize for being so saturated because I feel like I'm getting a bit sick of my own face but I am available if you should need me for any services Sorry, I appreciate you thank, thank you. you so much thank you for having me if you enjoyed that episode then press here for a selection of the best clips from the podcast over the last few weeks and don't forget to subscribe